the South Robertson Neighborhood Council, what kind of things does it get involved with? There are many local grassroots things we get involved with, such as new buildings that come up. We, we look at every development and we discuss whether there's enough green things for it or if there's enough parking. Also, we give out, oh, also we give out neighborhood grants to different nonprofit organizations. We help a lot of educational activities, um, like there's a literature program for at-risk high school kids, and there's also, we're starting to do a mental health network with some of the mental health organizations for people to call a certain number and then know where to get help if they need help. Um, there's a lot of different things. We had a big, big meeting with people concerned about Airbnb. New grocery stores comes in for liquor permits. A lot of things that affect your day-to-day -day life situations in the neighborhood. Potholes? I was just gonna say, potholes, transportation, um, a lot of things are with transportation. We're trying to create a uh, shuttle between the new Expo and Pico Robertson. Oh. Um, these are some of our bigger ventures with the city that we they take a little bit longer time to enact, right. but hopefully, you know, they will be really helpful to green up our neighborhood and help more people take public transportation. So how much of this stuff is in the, in the uh, city councilman's uh, domain and how much is uh, that you guys can do if they can't get, if, if uh, citizens can't get uh, results from Paul Carretz? Um, well, basically we work very closely with Paul Carretz's office um, several years back. Basically, the city council was divided into several neighborhoods. They, they, they came up with the neighborhood council system, which divided Los Angeles into these little neighborhoods and zones. So each one, since Los Angeles is so big, could have its own issues taken care of and focused on, since our issues might be different from what people in the valley have concerned with. So we, we work with the city council. Once we get motions passed, they're brought to the city council, and a lot of times, if they have, if they have our support, they go through, and we get a lot of our funding and other support from the city council. What will it take to get a shuttle to the expo line? Uh, like I said, we are working on that in our, we have a South Robertson Transportation Committee and our Green Committee. We're working on that with uh, Joseph Galloway's office and another city, the city council. And we're working on trying to get other, the like where the shuttle would go through for those neighbors to approve it. And we're trying to get the funds in place. So like I said, a longer term, a, like a bigger project like that's gonna take a little bit more time, but we are working on that. And uh, today we did surveys and that was one of the highest concerns of this neighborhood. So hopefully we'll, put more effort in it now that we see the neighborhood wants that. Couldn't people just take the bus already? Isn't there a bus that runs up Robertson? Um, yeah, there's a, there are buses, but we don't have that much control over the buses, and the bus lines are always changing. As you know, there's the uh, Santa Monica Blue bus, and then there's the Metro Orange bus. There used to be a bus that ran more frequently up Robertson. Right now, it's not running so frequently, once an hour, so that really doesn't help. We're trying to get something that would uh, focus on like rush hour before work like from 7 to 10 and then again in the evening from like 5 to 8 in addition to the one hour bus. Are you uh, uh, religiously orthodox yourself? Yes, I am. Uh, is there any concern among orthodox passengers on the Expo line that they might uh, encounter harassment uh, if they're looking especially orthodox, especially the men who can, uh, it's harder to hide that they might be. Is there any, has it been any exploration of that issue yet? No, I, I don't, I haven't heard of anything. I feel that we haven't had any anti-Semitic gestures or people being targeted because they're Orthodox, not that I know of to date. Um, I've gone to the Public Safety Committee and that's not, fortunately, at least in this neighborhood, I haven't heard of anything like that up to this point. You mean, you mean on public transit? Right, right. I mean, I feel like Los Angeles is a very diverse community and very accepting. And like I said, I don't think it's been a problem and hopefully it won't be. 
uh, is there any concern that there might be more crime in the neighborhood because it, there'll be easier access and, uh, and uh, recess uh, for, for criminals to get to the neighborhood? Re you mean access or? To get, to get to and from the neighborhood that there might be more crime. Um, our neighborhood's pretty low in crime. Some of the main crimes that we have are people breaking into cars or stealing some old cars that are highly valuable because of their parts. Um, or people, like I said, the, um, the neighborhoods that get broken into are, they have their own neighborhood watches. But in terms of like um, the hate and violent crimes, we're pretty low on that. We do have random, some gang related um, shootings that again are related to the gang and they're more like not random targeted people. And in terms of the rest of the neighborhood, it's pretty much the burglaries and like, don't leave your stuff in the car because that's making yourself a target. Don't leave your packages outside of the house because people will take those. We've been fortunate and that's the, our main crimes that we've been focusing on. Do Orthodox people uh, carry wallets, purses, or money on the Sabbath? No, no, Orthodox people don't carry wallets, money, cash, or anything of value on the Sabbath, which is Saturday. Which starts Friday night. Which starts Friday night when the sun goes down and it ends Saturday when the sun goes down. Because we have a lot more foot traffic in this area uh, during those times than, than the rest of LA, don't we? Yeah, we do have a lot of foot traffic in this neighborhood and I myself am sometimes asked by people, homeless people or whomever are asking for money and I tell them I don't have any money, it's the Sabbath. Um, I think the permanent people who live in this neighborhood who ask for money know that, but they can ask anybody, but I don't think that the buses, the shuttle buses anyways are only Monday through Friday. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to increase that kind of crime.